Hello, this is Mike Lively, and welcome to our new series on SQL Server Express 2008. Let's run and take a look at the uh, homework assignment that you'll be doing this week. <laughs> okay, here is the e-commerce database design, and so what's nice about this, because you want to do it years, years very much as an e-commerce system, you actually want to be able to uh, start working with these type of systems, and you can, hey, look, there's when you create uh, an e-commerce site, there's just a certain type of number of tables that you're going to have. Suppliers, products, orders, customers, shippers, uh, payments, and then you'll add to that depending on your system and you'll, your tables will be different, but uh, they all kind of are the same, at least the base piece, and then you start adding those, whatever you need. And, I, I, and you already got experience with this, so you can see that this represents the key and this is the one-to-many relationship that that's showing right there in the database system. So uh, you'll be able to, this is this actually is done in SQL uh, 2007, I think, and this is a layout tool that you'll be able to look, be able to use as you develop your database. So it's really good for uh, developing things. And if you decide one day, hey, I don't like Java, I want to use ASP, well, just do it on the cloud, right? And you can, and you can once again, ASP, no, no. ASP is like uh, PHP. It's like Java. It's the in-between, the middle-tier language. Great. And so uh, just a little introduction to your assignment, and, so you be, and then if you go to the next one, there's only two uh, parts you need to go through here. This is part two of that, and then, and basically he's just going to show you all the names in the database and just put these in. You work with them. You figure out the links are. And it's very important to you, Porter, to actually understand what all these are and read about those because that's definitely going to be very important to you as far as your system is concerned and the products you're going to, you have. And I don't know if you can get a sample database for what you're going to be doing. Well, I think more important than the actual records because we can actually come up with dummy data for that. Okay, I can help you do that. But I can actually generate code that actually generates dummy records for you because I can do. We can do what's called a comma separated value, and we'll just put all comma separated values, and we can import those into these uh, 2000 server, 2008 server. It's not an issue. But what more of an issue is the structure of the database itself, and that's why I'm, I want how many you go through this exercise, and then you're thinking very closely about the structure and how to build the table. So if you can build blank tables. Yeah, I can. I can get some. We can, we can work on writing code to do the common separated stuff and generate all the dummy stuff you want. You know, matter of fact, uh, I'm sure some people will be interested in dummy dummy generators. There's probably some out there on the web as well, and I may have made mention of it. Uh, who knows what I was talking about? Sometimes I just babble. So that's the the assignment. Now, if we go back one, there are also an additional number of assignments right here that show you how to work with the SQL. Okay, and you might also want to become skilled in that. Of course, what we'll be doing. Is so we'll be writing code that talks to the server that does all this for you automatically. So you actually, in a sense, will not be sitting down and queuing the data as a server administrator, but you'll be using the uh, software to do it as well. But if your business grows, you definitely want to be on the server side too and doing queues as well, running running queries. Excuse me, that's what I meant to say. So there we have it, and uh, this will be your assignment, and it'll, it'll be a lot for you to do, and uh, it'll be very exciting because you actually start start building uh, your project. This was Mike Lively. We've finished up this lesson, and good luck on your homework. There's a bunch of videos coming on the web, so make sure you keep checking my uh, YouTube. And next week, we'll be moving on to burrito development. Thanks a lot. See you next time.